All right, so you've already inventoried all of your parts. You've already pulled them all in to your mat set if there's something found on, on the installation or if not, and it's just a bunch of stuff that you needed to change the batch code to F or H or whatever else because it's been used, or if you're just trying to clean things up and turn it back into the system. Uh, this is where that process is gonna start, and um, you're gonna get the PR and turn it over to a PO using your bucks. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use your bucks, and let's let's just clean up your your orals or clean up your mat sit to get stuff off of it that you no longer need, and this is the process to do so. Okay, so for this one, we're going to go to Yo Bucks. Yo Bucks. That is an O, not an zero. Okay, so in here, you're going to put your S Loc for the SSA. Your S Loc from where the part is coming from. You're going to click on Excess. Now, if you have, we'll come back to it in a minute. Never mind. Come back to it. Then this way you're going to create an excess turn in. It's going to bring up all that information again. And then we're going to use that same battery. And quantity of one. Now remember, you need to put all those zeros back in there. You pretty much go to the end of the box and that's it. HS. And then you're going to hit execute. Once it comes up, then you're just going to hit back. It's already done everything it needs to do. We're going to hit back, go back, and then we're going to leave all this information in here. And then hit the execute button here, and then it's going to bring up that item we just started. So we're going to click on the material number. And as you can see, everything is good. As long as it has a good check right here, that means that you have an item in your mat set that matches the same batch code. So then you want to highlight and then convert PR to PO. And then it brings everything up again, clarifying that you want to do the several steps. So just make sure that you're doing what you're doing. Now, as you can see, it created everything. Want to make sure that you keep this number right here. So this PGI is successful for this number. You want to keep that PGI. That is your outbound delivery number and you need to keep that for the next step of you getting the um, MRO printed out. And we'll hit the check mark. And as you can see, it disappears. So then we'll back out and that has created it. So let's go back into Yobucks real quick. I forgot to show you something. So for this one, we're going to put in ADK1 and then we will use a different s look to choose from and then we're going to hit this click here and then click that this is for zrl so this right here if it's a recoverable item that's on your uh, mat set from ordering it and the system automatically kicks out that you need to to do a recoverable for it you just go through the same process the only difference is the beginning part so you're going to click on the zrl and then the PGI delivery and then hit the check mark. You don't have to go through this because you've already done that. All right, as you can see, it's fairly simple. Um, there can be some hiccups every once in a while, so be prepared for those. But for the most part, as long as everything is in the system the correct way and you're capturing it um, in the system the right way, you're not gonna have too many problems with converting it in the process of making this video i had a few issues uh, some of them are uh, already on the facebook group um, but there's no real resolve for it it's kind of like one of those little glitches so i'm gonna wait until tomorrow and i'm gonna try that one again and see if it works if it doesn't work for me maybe somebody else can figure it out or get it to work for them uh, sometimes maybe it just takes that little special touch again guys just like everything else if you like the video please uh, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, by all means, give me a thumbs down. Just make sure you hit it twice to, to make sure you really knocked it home. Uh, if you have any more questions or concerns pertaining to this, or if I missed something and you want to add to it, please go down to the comments and let me know. Uh, if you haven't subscribed already, please go ahead and do so. Let's keep creating a bigger community. Let's grow this community. 
And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.